Hello everyone, hope you're having an amazing day today. Welcome to the Film Insight channel. For today's video, we're going to discuss some more MasterChef US contestants and where they are now. So, sit back, relax, and without further ado, let's get right into the content, guys. Sean O'Neill Season 7 contestant Sean O'Neill brought his A-game to the competition, eventually becoming the quote-unquote top dog. After fighting his way to the top, O'Neill managed to become the seventh cook to win MasterChef US. His win was certainly justified since from the beginning, he quickly established himself to be a very strong chef. With a high-end fine dining style of cooking, he seemingly impressed the judges on multiple occasions. While the start of his journey might be described as silent, he swiftly made a name for himself and was a force to be reckoned with. It was especially entertaining to watch O'Neill in action since he always had a lot of passion and determination. Though to be completely fair, he wasn't perfect having several questionable moments of rudeness. On top of this, he could be quite opinionated, very condescending and petty, which made him very unlikable to many. He also had the tendency to be cocky and arrogant, often putting other contestants down when he deemed them as weak, but he did have the talent to back it up. Due to this less than favorable side of O'Neill, he had a running feud with Nathan and a horribly bitter rivalry with David. This was mostly due to the fact that David was extremely immature and was incapable of communicating during challenges. At the very least, O'Neill was able to be calm and loosen up at times, so he did get along with a few people. Following his appearance on the show, the talented cook wrote and published his own cookbook called My Modern American Table Recipes for Inspired Home Cooks, which did pretty well. Additionally, he hosted a slew of pop-up dining events, cookery demonstrations, and taught online cookery classes alongside other MasterChef winners. In recent times, O'Neill announced that he was going to be reopening a restaurant called The Blind Pig in Las Vegas. Since the restaurant was dying, he plans to give the place a makeover and revamp the menu, then act as the business's co-owner and executive chef. Seems like he's doing well. Ebony Henry Considered one of the strongest, passionate, and most consistent chefs of the 8th season, Ebony Henry fought her way to the finals. Coming into the competition with a very solid start, thanks to her consistency, she ended things off the same. Being a very assertive and provocative person, Henry could also be very encouraging to those around her. Though she would often self-describe herself to be very sassy and have an extremely fiery temper, not afraid to stand her ground. She also exhibited bully-like qualities against some of the other cooks and was shown to be very controlling and petty at times. Other than that, she was able to put her ego aside and take responsibility for her mistakes and listen when she got critiques. Due to this fact, she grew the most out of anyone that season and was able to make it to the finals. Despite the fact that she had a lot of negative qualities, she got along with most of the chefs in the competition. This included people like Caitlin, Daniel, Dino, Gabriel, and Jason, as well as a close friendship with Kate. However, she definitely didn't get along with everyone, especially Achichia, Brian, and Adam, who were constantly trash-talking her. And even more so with a contestant named Jeff, who she had a long-running feud with due to his insufferable arrogance. Following her appearance on the show, she continued on as a private chef, offering private dining experiences. Additionally, she has a YouTube channel you can check out with four short videos on it, the last being a year ago. Seemingly, she was trying to start a little series called Let's Eat Chef, but disappeared after the first episode, most likely because it didn't really get that many views. Henry's Instagram seems to be popping off though, rocking 100,000 followers, despite being set to private. Dino Angelo Luciano Widely recognized as one of the most memorable contestants in the show's history, Dino Angelo Luciano made his debut in the 8th season. Grabbing the winning title due to his undeniable skill, Luciano absolutely killed the competition being awarded with the MasterChef trophy. Coming into the competition, he was certainly easy to like since his personality was quirky and flamboyant. On top of this, he had a lot of heart and passion, always willing to encourage and support his fellow competitors. Due to this, he was extremely appreciated by both the contestants and viewers alike, effectively becoming a fan favorite. Much like Luca Manfe, Luciano was viewed as a dark horse that wouldn't get very far into the competition. Though he was severely underestimated and quickly became a front runner for his consistent cooking. Luciano's cooking style was widely considered as unique, as if each meal he put in front of the judges was telling a story. Praising his side, one of his biggest issues was the fact that he could become very frantic during team challenges. It was a different story when it came to individual challenges for some reason, since he was able to keep his cool and stay focused. Developing close friendships with Jason, Daniel, Adam, Ebony, and Kate, he had a long-running feud with Jeff and a short-term one with Yachichia. Fast forward to after his appearance on MasterChef, Luciano hosted a list of exclusive diners and pop-up experiences. Additionally, he was the executive chef at Muse and Market in Phoenix over the summer of 2018. Surprisingly, the talented chef made a cameo appearance in the 10th season finale as a guest star. In recent time, Luciano relocated to Montreal, Quebec and opened up a vegan restaurant called Le Mariachi, which has absolutely delicious Mexican cuisine. The restaurant really makes his Southern Californian side shine through, so we really recommend you visit Le Mariachi if you travel to Montreal. Garen Hurt Appearing in the 9th season of the show, Garen Hurt managed to become the winner of his season. 
Known to be a very kind-hearted and likable cook with an honest and humble personality, it's generally what got him so far. In the beginning, he was quite inconsistent and struggled a lot, which led him to being in the bottom on several occasions. Though as time progressed, he gradually improved on his cooking skills and got to a point where he was the strongest competitor. Cooking straight from the heart, Hurt showed immense passion and talent throughout his time in the kitchen. Many might even consider this amazing chef to be one of the greatest MasterChef winners of all time, and we have to agree. Due to his friendly nature, he developed close friendships with people like Farhan, Ryan, Caesar, and Samantha. Though he did have a bit of a dislike towards Mark since he was very arrogant and acted like he knew everything as well as Shanika since she was always negative. Becoming the youngest male competitor to win the competition, Hurt deservingly received the MasterChef trophy alongside $250,000. Following his appearance on the show, he appeared in a collection of cookery events as well as culinary projects in Louisville. Then in July of 2019, he took part in Camp Master Chef and became a traveling chef until he returned to the show in the 10th season. The episode was dedicated to Gordon Ramsay and his marriage officiation, where Hurt was invited. Dorian Hunter Master Chef contestant Dorian Hunter was ranked as the official winner and awarded a beautiful trophy. Alongside this, she was given the right to publish her own cookbook and received a hefty $250,000 salary. This was certainly for good reason since Hunter proved to everyone that she was made to be in the kitchen. Being one of the strongest and most talented chefs of her season, she was able to win thanks to her immense passion and determination. On top of this, she was quite consistent in both the individual and team challenges, never placing in the bottom. Though her biggest issue was the fact that she had a short temper and would get too emotional. For instance, she broke into tears during the tag team elimination challenge with a contestant named Subha. Regardless, she was able to overcome this and showed everyone watching that she could still produce quality dishes well under pressure. Especially for this reason, she was seen as a frontrunner and eventually went on to win the competition as a whole. After appearing on the show, Hunter took up some training at the restaurants of the three judges. Now that her win has been made public, she plans on using her winnings to open up a restaurant. If you'd like to learn more, she has a website called Chef Dorian where you can purchase online courses, merchandise, and more. She seems to be doing great things. David Miller For our last quick little entry, we're going to discuss a season 1 contestant named David Miller who ranked as the runner-up. Having an eccentric personality from the start, Miller was considered arrogant and very cringeworthy to watch. Though, he admittedly was naturally gifted and had some great leadership skills, which is why he got so far into the competition. After his loss, Miller returned to his previous career in software, but still has a passion for cooking. Interestingly enough, he was banned from the R Market subreddit for scamming some users. What a surprising development. Well, that'll be all for today's video here on the channel. I do hope you enjoyed, and if you did, be sure to drop a massive like down below and comment your thoughts. Subscribe for more content like this and turn on those sweet bell notifications for instant access to our content. Have a good one guys.